In this short presentation, we're going to show you how you can use IBM SPSS statistics to calculate a reliability test. The first thing you want to notice is that whenever you look at an SPSS data file, um, the way that we have it set up here, this is the data file that you have on the CD-ROM that came with your textbook. The very first columns you're going to see, again, are the columns that correspond with each of the individual items. To help us do this, let's go ahead and run the uh, alpha reliability for the PRCA, or the Personal Report of Communication Apprehension 24. Now, in this data set, the very first column you see here is the ID, and then after that, all the way you have the, the PRCA 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way, you can scroll all the way over until you hit the one that says 24. So these are the 24 items that I've highlighted here that correspond with the individual items on the PRCA 24. So let's go ahead and actually go back to the beginning and I'll show you how you can run the alpha reliability. It's very simple. You're going to go up to click on analyze. You're going to scroll down to the one that says scale and then you're going to click on reliability analysis. Once you've done that, you're going to have the reliability analysis pop-up box come up. The very first one is item that you're going to want is the communication apprehension PRCA1. Notice we put the, the label there for you so you can know what the different items mean. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your shift button and you're going to go find that PRCA24. By holding down the shift button, it allows you to highlight all of the individual items in this measure at once. So I'm going to click on the last one there, the PRCA24, and you'll notice that there's now a giant highlighted box. And then all I have to do is click the arrow. Now you could have done each item individually, but that would just take more time. Now, you can also see right here that there are a number of different reliability analyses. The most common one is, of course, the Cronbox Alpha, which is the one that is automatically selected for you. But there is a split half, the Gutman, the Parallel, and the Strict Parallel that we also discuss in the book. Now, there are a couple statistics you could choose to look at. The first one is the item. This will give you the individual descriptive statistics for each item. There's the scale item. That lets you know how the individual items function within the scale. And then there's scale if the item is deleted. This will let you know if a specific item could possibly, if you delete it, get uh, actually increase reliability. So I'm going to go ahead and select those because, um, again, we do talk about this in the book itself. But, again, typically speaking, you don't need these descriptives. But I'm going to go ahead and click Continue and just show you them. I'm going to click OK. The first box you're going to see here is the reliability statistics. Notice that the reliability for uh, the PRCA24 in this case is a 0.939 or 0.94. And if you scroll down, you'll notice in this box right here the item total statistics. It gives you the um, Cronbox Alpha if each if individual items were deleted. Um, and if you scroll through that list, it looks like for the most part, if you delete any of the items, it's actually going to decrease your overall alpha reliability. Which again, the PRCA24 is one of those measures that holds together very well and tends to be very, very reliable consistently. And that is how you can run an alpha reliability test using SPSS.